Welcome, 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 grade three. It's Miss Liz here with you. I'm in the classroom, and today is Thursday, April 9th, 2020. And we're going to look at contractions. Contractions, okay? Contractions. So let's get right into it, okay? So we can start out. So this is following the apostrophe uh, lesson that Miss Kelsey did. This is when we use the apostrophe to make contractions, okay? And many, many, many of you know how to do this. But, so just think of this as review, okay? For people who know, for the students who know, think of this as review. But for some, they may not know, so we're going to explain contractions, okay? So a contraction, we're reading right here, is when two words are joined together by our friend, Mr. Apostrophe. So look at the examples below, right? So the contraction don't, okay? The contraction don't is made of two words, do and not, do not. And the contraction takes away the letter O. Do you see that O? So instead of this, you cross out the letter and you do an apostrophe, okay? So, the apostrophe shortens the word, shortens, makes it smaller, and it also takes away a letter, usually, okay? So, <clears throat> the next word, are not. In a contraction, it's aren't. So the apostrophe is right here between the N and the T, and it takes away the O, right? Okay, so then this one we know very well, right? I'm, I am equals I'm. So the apostrophe takes away the A, and makes it I'm, okay, instead of I am. I'm shortens the word, the sound of the word, okay? Contractions do a lot of work. Now, I want you to get your notebook, okay? You see this notebook? And I want you to write the date, Thursday, April 9th, 2020, and I just want you to write one, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds to do that. And write your little name at the top, just in case. Give you about 30 seconds to do that. And that's a U. So right here, that's a U. But I also got it behind me too. Thursday, April 9, 2020. And we'll use this many times, so We'll put no spaces here. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. So, you ready? Okay. So, I have these sentences. Okay. And I want you to see if you can find the contraction. And number one, when you find the contraction word, right, I want you to write it in your notebook and we'll do the answers after. Okay. Really easy. Really, really easy. Okay. So we have this sentence. Number one, mom thinks, mom thinks I won't like that kind of pasta. So which word has the contraction on number one. Mom thinks I won't like that kind of pasta.
Asta. All right, write your answers. Go slow at first, we'll get fast. Okay. The contraction is the word won't. Number one is won't, okay? W-O-N-T. Number two, she'll attend the next meeting. There's only five words. Which word is the contraction? She'll attend the next meeting. Okay, let's circle it. Let's write it in our notebooks. She'll attend the next meeting. And the answer is she'll. She will. So this is will not, and this is she will, okay? Next one, number three. Harry isn't going to school tomorrow. Which word is the contraction? Okay, ready? And the contraction is, isn't, right? And many times a contraction has to do with a verb or a pronoun, okay? Not all the time, but some, many times, okay? Usually we're taking a pronoun and a verb or a verb and not. <laughs> Okay, so you should have in your notebook, won't, she'll, isn't. And I wrote down won't it equals, will not, she'll equals, she will, is not, isn't equals, is not. Okay, great. All right, let's move on. I'll try to assign a really good story for today. <clears throat> okay, so. We're gonna do some more contractions. A lot of contractions is memorizing or remembering what two words. Okay, so when you see a contraction, we wanna think what two words is that? Because it's usually two words, right? Okay, so won't, for example, Sarah won't be able to attend the birthday party. Won't equals will not. So in each of the following sentences, we're going to identify the contraction, write it on our, our and we're gonna just follow Miss Liz, okay? We're gonna do it together. So here it says whiteboard, but we're gonna do it together. And remember, write the two, you're gonna think about, not write, but think about the two words that are being joined. Joined means put together. Joined means put together. So number one, Tom, isn't going to baseball practice. Tom isn't going to baseball practice. So what is the contraction? Very good, the contraction is isn't. So Tom isn't. Okay, now what two words do you think isn't equals? That's right, is not, is not, okay? Let me get a different pen. Oh, let's do green, let's do green, just in case. Okay. Ha, don't do that at home. Okay, so next word, next sentence. They'll be home shortly. What is the contraction? They'll be home shortly. So the contraction is they'll, right? They, and then what other word do you think that is? 
they and will. They will. They'll. And that's a hard word to say. That they'll. They'll. Oh, <laughs> okay, so it's okay if it's hard to say. They'll be home shortly. They'll. They'll. It's a hard one. It's it's weird. Okay, next one. Eli and his sister aren't coming. Mm, Eli and his sister aren't coming. So what's the contraction? Aren't. Very good. Aren't. Okay, now. What two words? If you see ain't, it's probably not, right? Like won't, ain't, will not, okay? That apostrophe takes the place of the O in not, right? Takes away the O when we put in the apostrophe. Okay, so in the next video, we will finish doing some more examples. And then you will have some reading to do, or a read, read aloud to watch. And then you will have a pretty easy, pretty good worksheet for homework. All right, see you in the next video.